Testing one, two, three.
Hola y buenas tardes, maestros, administradores, padres y por supuesto la, la promoción de 2021. Si no me conocen, me llamo Christian Reyes y soy el Dad Victorian de este año. Es un gran placer contarles a todos esta noche nuestros esfuerzos y logros. Sin embargo, antes de eso me gustaría agradecer a algunos de mis maestros más clientes. Señor Benítez, señora Salvador, señora Guiniga, señora Penley, señora Leiva, señor Gutiérrez, señor Mores y señor Johnson. Muchas gracias por todo lo que me han enseñado en estos años. Una mucha felicidad de ser tus estudiantes. También me gustaría agradecer a mis compañeros y mis amigos. Me gustaría agradecer a mi madre y mi padre por lo que han hecho por mí y su duro trabajo y determinación para darme lo que necesitaba para tener éxito en la escuela. Bueno, de este momento en que llegamos a Forms High, nos habíamos fijado metas a lo largo de nuestros años y superamos obstáculos. Ya fueran académicos o algo más como ser mejores atletas, ser mejores personas, probar cosas nuevas, conocer gente nueva o ganar los Olimpiadas en ti. Dicho esto, ¿cuál era mi objetivo? Yo sé que probablemente no preguntaste, pero aquí estoy para decirte dos modos. Definitivamente no fue hacer el barrio en la escuela o algo de esa manera, pero fue algo más importante, algo que tenía mucho más mérito, algo que se eleva por encima de otras metas, y esa cosa a fue ser más alto de mi maestro, señor Benítez, de mi último año. Te dije que lo hacía, Benítez. Con todas estas metas, cuando habíamos quejado, esta noche legendaria es representativa de nuestros éxitos triunfantes que hemos tenido a lo largo de nuestros años en Fomos Ohio. Esta noche representa que decimos precisamente eso. Logramos algo grande y debemos estar felices de lo que, decimos, de lo que hemos hecho. Dicho esto, cuando salgamos al mundo real, definitivamente habría más de, de, de desafíos y problemas en el futuro. Pero estoy aquí para decirles que, al igual que lo hicimos en la escuela secundaria, lo haremos en la universidad y en nuestro día a día. Así que yo te muestro y les doy todo lo mejor. En our English. Yo, yo. Hello and good evening, teachers, administrators, parents, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. If you do not know me, my name is Christian Reyes, and I am this year's valedictorian. It is with great pleasure to tell you all tonight of our endeavors and accomplishments. However, before that, I would like to thank some of my most influential teachers by calling them by their first names. For the first and last time. I know this probably isn't a good way to thank you, but here we go anyways. How's it going, Heather? Marco, David, Jessica, Timothy, nice weather we're having, Andy and Mario, and I'm sorry you didn't make a cut, Mr. Benitez, or Daniel, I should say. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Daniel. I just wanted an excuse to say it again. All jokes aside, I'm very grateful to you all for what you have done for me during my time here at Bones of Life. I would also like to thank my classmates and my friends. What's more, I would like to give a special thanks to my mother and father who worked so hard for me and did everything they could to let me succeed school. Well, from the moment we arrived at Owens, Ohio, we had set goals for ourselves throughout the years we overcame obstacles. Whether they were academic or something else, like being better athletes, being better people, or trying new things. Also, following the Olympics in PE, go Team Brazil. That being said, what was my goal? I know you probably didn't ask, but I'm here to tell you anyways. It was definitely not something like auditorium or something like that. It was something more important, something that held way more merit to me, something that towers above other goals. And that goal was being taller than Mr. Benitez by my senior year. <laughs> I told you I do, Mr. Benitez. I was aware that I'm in. With all these goals we set for ourselves throughout our years, this fable night is representative of our triumphant successes we've had throughout our years at Farm Little High. This night represents that we did just that. We've accomplished something large and should be proud of what we, of what we have done. That being said, when we go out into the real world, there will definitely be more challenges and problems down the road along with new goals and aspirations we have. But I'm here to tell you, just like what we did in high school, we'll do it in college and in our daily lives. So let's run it, and I wish you all the best. Class of 2021. Sí, ya de que no
Good evening, my name is Diana Maciel Gomez, and with me is Mrs. Medina. We are the counselors at Barmersville High School. We are honored to present the top 10 students for the class of 2021. At number 10, with a GPA of 4.0192, we have Nale Sichan. Nale will be attending college to college at the beginning of spring semester and majoring in business with a concentration in accounting. At number nine, with a GPA of 4.056, Yadia Hernandez. <laughs> At number eight, with a GPA of 4.0909, Nadia Alokan. <laughs> Nadia will be attending CSU Long Beach and will be getting her BFA in graphic design. With a GPA of 4.1126, Carlos Rosales. <laughs> Carlos will be attending College of the Sequoias and majoring in engineering. <laughs> At number six, with a GPA of 4.1698, Jasna Morales. <laughs> and wants to become a special education teacher. Oh. Five. With a GPA of 4.2059, Viviana Medina. Viviana will attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, majoring in mathematics. At number four, with a GPA of 4.2075, Jaslyn Morales. Yeah. Jaslyn will be attending College of Sequoias and wants to become a dental hygienist. At number three, with a GPA of 4.224, is Isaac Alani. with a GPA of 4.2414 is Yasmin Angeles. <laughs> Yasmin will be attending UC Irvine. The class of 2021 valedictorian with a GPA of 4.2581, Christian Reyes Moreno. Christian and we have the honor and privilege to serve this class. This school and this wonderful community as the proud administrators of Farmersville High School. Before we continue, can we have all Farmersville High School teachers and staff rise in recognition for their unwavering efforts in guiding our students through this challenging year. that you join us in a moment of silence for our beloved teachers we lost this year, Mr. David Austin and Ms. Pearl Gonzalez.
Thank you. We welcome each of our families, friends, and distinguished guests for joining us today as we recognize the astounding accomplishments of our class of 2021. We would like to acknowledge, to not only acknowledge the resiliency of our graduating class, but the many people that have supported all of us along the way. The journey over the past year and a half is like none other. Our students, parents, teachers, and staff have recreated and revamped education. It is only fitting that we commemorate the road we have traveled this year through all the trials and tribulations. It is thrilling to stand here before you this evening since Mr. Sanchez and myself are from Farmersville. Needless to say, this is a full circle moment. It was always my dream to return to the community I loved and give back some of what it has given to me. It is what has motivated me. I feel truly blessed to be here tonight as a Farmersville native and honored to have been a part of our students' journey. Graduates, may you always carry pride of being from this community. Please know that you are my why, as you are so many others. You are the reason we do this job. You have kept us strong. You are the reason we move forward and strive for excellence, because excellence is what you deserve. It is our hope that anywhere you go, you will always be proud of being an Aztec. You will forever be part of our Aztec empire. So go to the world and be the Aztec ambassadors we know you to be. Feel empowered to be yourself and take your experiences you learned here to the next chapter in your life. But do so by being motivated, showing professionalism, integrity, respect, and empathy on your journey. This is an opportunity for you to contribute to our empire, our Farmersville. Nonetheless, there will be times that this will not be easy. You will be tested. But let me assure you that there is no test given to you that you cannot pass. I guarantee you, with every test, you will prevail. You are all sitting behind us showing how you prevail since March 2020. Graduation is a time to celebrate your achievements, prepare for future of opportunities, and embrace a world of infinite possibilities. What you have endured has been tremendous. You have lost, but you have also gained. You have gained the confidence knowing you can endure all that life and the world will hand you. Your life is your story and yours alone to build. The adventure ahead of you is a journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. It is truly yours for the making. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters to compare to what lies within us. May you always look inside you to see the amazing potential that all of us see in you. There isn't anything you can't do. Each one of you touches another life in ways you may never see. Know that your impact and your story of resilience will be forever imprinted in our hearts. Graduates, you not only make history tonight graduating in a pandemic, but now shift in creating a future with a perspective no graduation class before you has ever experienced. share some facts about the class of 2021. Two students have had perfect attendance for all years, not a single absence. Isaac Alanis. are joining our military.
15 undecided about what they want to do after high school will make an impact. Fifty students are A through G eligible. We have 29 seniors receiving the state seal of biliteracy. These students have attained a high level of proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing one or more language languages in addition to English. We have 22 seniors receiving the Golden State CO Merit Diploma. These students have demonstrated mastery of the high school curriculum in at least six subjects. We have one senior who is the oldest in our graduating class born on February 8, 2002. Our youngest graduate was born on July 8, 2004. Our youngest senior was born December 1, 2003. The students that sit before you tonight have developed a skill set that will guide them in their next chapter. Class of 2021 will be characterized by your resilience kindness, compassion, perseverance, and willingness to take risks. Superintendent Dr. Paul Saviano and members of the Board of Trustees, I present to you the candidates of 2021 for commencement and graduation degrees from Farmersville High School. Families, as a reminder, please be seated until all names are called.
Jacqueline Coy. Emily Hernandez. Elizabeth Alicia Hernandez Morales. Giovanna Castro. Raul Cortez Jr. Isabel Gutierrez. Ismael 
Espinosa. Thank <laughs> you. 